Yeah. So let's let's introduce a distinction. Yeah. Between the two different types of AI. Okay. Uh, a N I artificial narrow intelligence and A G I artificial general intelligence. Okay. And so the narrow intelligence stuff is is what you see every day in Facebook and Google and Watson and all these Siri, all these different technologies are using artificial narrow intelligence. Right. And the analog I like for that is it's sort of like our animal ancestors. Um, you see. Frogs and fish do all kinds of really intelligent looking behaviors. And they're not smart the way you and I are smart. They can't reason about new environments really well. They can't build tools. Um, but they're still kind of smart and they're doing really advanced behaviors. And that's where we are right now in the evolution of our artificial intelligence systems. We have narrow intelligence. We use it every day. It's great. It makes everything better. And then the next horizon is mammals for biology and artificial general intelligence for Computers. Got it. So, so we're in the reptilian phase. We are in the reptilian phase. We're just, we are in the Cambrian ex explosion of, of intelligences. Yes, we're right just now. getting out of the water. There's lizards everywhere, and they do interesting things to, you know, find food. But if you put them in a new novel situation, they're not going to take what they've already learned and apply it in some new way. At least not very well. At least not very well, right? It's going to be very rudimentary. It's going to be rudimentary, and it's probably not going to work that well. And that's kind of what we see even in self-driving cars these days. Ah. Explain. Well, uh, the Google self-driving car gets confused if you put it in a parking garage. Um, or a, a friend of mine was telling me a hilarious prank you could pull is if, if you just tape a stop sign to the back of your car and drive in front <laughs> of the Google, Google self-driving car. So, like, there's all these things that it will do that are kind of nonsensical because it is a manually constructed narrow intelligence. It doesn't learn to drive the way you and I learn to drive. It learns to drive, you know, with big data and with all kinds of kind of hand-coded things involved in making it. And that's the distinction between this sort of narrow artificial intelligence and the general stuff that we're building at Vicarious. All right, listen, I love Squarespace. I use it all the time. If you go to Jason Syndicate, if you go to Launch Festival, if you go to Launch Scale, if you go to Launch Angel Summit, you will see Squarespace after Squarespace after Squarespace site. I use it for everything I do because it looks beautiful. It's affordable and it's easy to use. They're always adding new features to Squarespace. That's why I love, love, love the product. It's my favorite CMS, content management system to use because everybody on my team knows how to use it now. And when I say, hey, fire up a new site, boom, just like that, within an hour, I've got something that looks professionally designed. It's so intuitive, so easy to use. There is no coding required. And it's really state-of-the-art tech. It's super secure and stable. It never goes down. It's like rock solid. We've never had a problem with it. And it's trusted by millions of people, some of the most respected brands in the world. Go ahead and start your free trial today. There's no credit card required, which to me is always the tell. If somebody wants you to put a credit card in, it's because they're not confident. They'll let you build your site. You don't have to put your credit card in. And you will get a free domain name when you sign up for a year. When you decide to sign up for Squarespace, please use the offer code TWIST to get 10% off your first purchase. Super important that they see our loyal uh, listeners signing up with that code, T-W-I-S-T, this week in startups, and you'll get 10% off your first purchase. Go ahead and follow at Squarespace on Twitter, and everybody thank at Squarespace for, for supporting this week in startups and the important conversations we have here about entrepreneurship. When I say beautiful website, you think Squarespace, okay? It's beautiful, it's gorgeous, it's easy to use. What a deal. Thank you to my friends at Squarespace.